the question says so that the integration of this term here is equal to ln 8 by 5 by using the substitution u equals c to the power x now this is a 10 marks question so it's gonna going to be long now let's begin as you can see in order to show that this equals this we need to first of all integrate and this cannot be integrated directly so the question says integrate this by using the substitution given now look here we need to substitute e to the power x with u that's why it's called integration by substitution because we are using a substitution so we need to replace everything in x with u so dx needs to be replaced with du the limits are in x need to be replaced with limits in u and so on so let's first of all replace dx with du now don't go and write du here uh, that will do, that will do no good if we differentiate this we get du by dx equals e to the power x okay now dx so what's dx going to be therefore dx is going to be 1 by e to the power x du multiplying dx on both sides and dividing by this term on both sides so but look here what's e to the power x is u so this is 1 by u du therefore instead of dx we can write this term here now we need to replace the limits we need to find the equivalent limits in u so how do we do this this is simple when for the upper limit x is ln 4 when x is ln 4 u is going to be what e to the power ln 4 and what's e to the power ln 4 that's simply 4 and when x is 0 u is going to be e to the power 0 that's 1 therefore ln 4 and 0 are limits in x so 4 and 1 are the equivalent limits in u now we have replaced this and this now we need to replace everything else now let's begin let's write down this first of all just I copied this down now let's just replace everything what's ln 4 ln 4 is 4 so this is 4 what's 0 0 is 1 what's this look here if e to the power x is u then e to the power 2x is u squared e to this e x to the power squared and e x is u so this is u squared over u squared plus 3u plus 2 and what's dx dx is 1 by u du so 1 by u du and this will result u's and cancel out so this is this okay but still we cannot integrate this we need to simplify this more and how do we do that first of all we need to simplify what's simplifiable it's the denominator we can factorize this and at the side let's factorize this square plus 3 this is going to be u squared plus what 2u plus u plus 2 this is u plus 2 times u plus 1 so this is this now just put this the value put this in the factorized form and we get since u squared plus u plus 2 is this just substitute that here now it's a more simple it's a more it's in a more simple form than this but still we cannot integrate this we need to simplify it more it uh, more and how do we go on doing that we need to split this into for partial fractions so that we get two terms and then we can integrate each term separately now let's split this into partial fractions and this is done by let that term this term here let that term equals a constant a by u plus 2 plus another constant b over u plus 1 and you can see this makes sense if you take the LCM you get u plus 2 u plus 1 in the denominator 
and you get something in the numerator as well and if you put the value of u you will see that these two are equivalent so in if uh, there's something like this consisting of two linear factors then this is going to be a constant over the first factor plus a const another constant over the second factor now we need to find the values of the constants so let's begin so okay what's this going to be take the LCM u plus 1 plus b u plus 2 over u plus 2 times u plus 1 and if I multiply both sides by u plus 2 and u plus 1 this will cancel because here is u plus 2 by u plus 1 and here is also u plus 2 times u plus 1 so they cancel out now let's find the values of the constants you could just multiply and uh, compare coefficients but there is a more efficient way of doing that that is we take certain values of u to cancel out one coefficient so that another ref, uh, remains so let's, let's take when u equals minus 1 if u is minus 1 a will be cancelled because minus 1 plus 1 is 0 so this term will no longer remain and we can find b so when u, uh, u equals minus 1 minus 1 equals 0 plus b minus 1 plus 2 therefore b equals this is 2 minus 1 1 b equals minus 1 when u equals let's say we oh, now we have found b now we need to find a so we need to cancel b if we take u equals minus 2 this will become 0 so minus 2 is going to be a minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 plus 0 therefore a equals 2 therefore substitute the values here we get it. what's a a is uh, 2 what's b b is minus 1 so minus 1 over u plus 1 just okay so this is equal to this so instead of this we can write this so write this here and we get this just put this here we get this just remember to put the bracket so that in it indicates we are uh, integrating both terms now look we can we could not uh, integrate this could we because look the denominator exists in this form but now we have separated we got two terms and we can now uh, integrate each term separately so let's move forward what's the integration of this term it's simply 2 ln u plus 2 remember that the uh, integration of something is another way of asking the differentiation of what will give that so the integration of 2 by 2 by u plus 2 is another way of saying what is the what the differentiation of what will give this and you can see if we differentiate this we get 2 by u plus 2 therefore the integration of this is this this minus what's the integration of this another way of saying the differentiation of what is this the differentiation of simply u plus 1 is 1 by u plus 1 okay so let's put in the limits 4 and 1 okay 4 and 1 okay remember that n ln a is same as ln a to the power n so we can write this in this form this is going to be ln u plus 2 look n becomes the power n is 2 whole squared minus minus the term also remember a minus ln b is equal to ln a by b a formula or relationship so apply that here we get a is this and b is this so a by b that is whole squared by uh, what's b b is u plus 1 and 4 by 1 now let's put the, in the values 4 when 
u is 4 we get 4 plus 2 6 squared over 4 plus 1 5 minus ln remember put in the value higher value minus put in the lower value 1 plus 2 3 squared over 1 plus 1 2 look ln a minus b it's in this form it's ln a minus ln b is ln a by b so this is going to be 6 squared by 5 divided by 3 squared by 2 that is 2 by 3 squared I think this is ln 8 by 5 so question was so that this equals ln 8 by 5 and we have showed that this equals ln 8 by 5 for 10 marks now you can see why this is a 10 marks question it involves substitution as well as integration by parts. So I hope that was helpful. Thank you.